What's up, Scorpios? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston. So I'm here to do your April monthly reading. Um, you guys are already popping with energy to me. Um, it's good, too. Um, it, feels, it feels really calm. But at the same time, I feel like you're having trouble communicating. Um, you're having trouble speaking your truth or saying, uh, expressing yourself in the right ways. Um, that's what they're telling me. They're showing me like your, your throat chakra is blocked because you're having trouble. For the first time, I feel like you're having to express things um, rather than keep them internalized as your lesson is how to express them. And you're having trouble figuring out how to word them correctly or how to say how you're feeling. Um, you've been having kind of like this tug of war battle inside of yourself is what they're showing me. <laughs> they're actually like showing me tug of war over here, but it feels more internal um, with yourself. I'm trying to figure out um, what is the best way to express yourself or get across to somebody. Uh, your lesson this month is learning how to externalize what you're feeling. And it's kind of amazing because a lot of the time with water signs, you like y'all will keep it in. Um, y'all keep it in, you know, like you hold it down. And so for you to be able to speak your truth is very, very big guys. That's amazing. And I'm so proud of you for putting in that kind of work because I have tr like no trouble speaking my mind, but I do have trouble being emotional. So that's th something that I have to work on and you guys have to work on. Um, you, your emotional is just fine. Um, you have beautiful emotions, but what you need to work on is externalizing them instead of keeping them internal to a boiling point or to a point where um, you've worked your mind up so much that you can't slow it down. And so, you know, we all have our things. And so I think this month it's learning to externalize and how to put it the right ways and how to say how you're actually feeling. And I feel like you're having a struggle with, um, the words it's it's not coming out worded correctly for you is what I'm getting from them is what they're telling me today um so I am just still doing this new thing with shuffling everybody seems to really really like it it brings a lot more messages um to people and um it seems to just that's the way it works with me the information and the downloads just go and go and go um and i want to say thank you to, to scorpio elementals i woke up with a migraine and did not even want to read at all um i called in the scorpio elementals and i asked them to please work with me and bring in your energy and to help me with my headache and it's slowly starting to fade away uh, when you wake up with a migraine there's no getting rid of it if you get it throughout the day sometimes you can get rid of it but when you wake up with it you're stuck with it so thank you scorps for letting me borrow your energy um the pounding in the back of my head and my eyes are starting to subside so i'm happy about that um but yes i'm still doing this new thing of um you know shuffling and i'm seeing just problems with communicating like you're you're having trouble communicating um and I feel like you want to let go, like you want to make that change. You want to change and be able to state how you feel because you realized in turn that it makes you feel better to talk about how you're feeling instead of bottling it up. It's making you feel better during this Aries moon to take our energy and learn how to express it, learn how to say it out loud because we're very known for being rambunctious and um full of things to say and we always speak our mind um in a very honest way and so i you guys are really kind of embracing the aries energy and taking in um the accountability of merc retro as well you guys are doing as best as you can you're working hard with it it's amazing and i'm so proud of you um and it's saying you really want to change this about yourself you really want to be able to express yourself but not just express yourself you want it to be meaningful you want someone to understand right away how you're feeling without confrontation you're trying to find peaceful ways to say things instead of bottle it up and do the usual um score revenge at some point down the line and that's amazing um what a transformation you guys are going through that's just wow um but you know i i also get the feeling too that um, 
you're struggling a bit with this change, you know, and I feel like it would be good for you to have a guide or something or someone to go to, um, to have some sort of exchange with on, you know, I'm feeling this way, but it's not coming out right. Or I'm struggling with how I'm, you know, trying to word things or the way I'm coming across there's communication and then there's effective communication and you're seeking that effective communication, but you haven't quite balanced it just right. So, um, they're telling me it'll be good for you to seek a guide. Um, they're showing me though, there's a lot of confusion around you right now. Um, and that confusion is it, It's in part due to trying to figure out how to externalize this. And for some reason, it loves to bring up your past relationships. And um, I think that's important because you do, you guys do bottle a lot with um, past relationships and things like that. Not that we don't all, but you guys tend to internalize it a lot and take it hard on yourself. Um, and that is a big thing. You know, you're, you take, you take it hard and you internalize it and you pick at everything you could have possibly done wrong is what this is showing me. Um, I feel like there's it, you're struggling to externalize how you're feeling because it's, there's someone you see as an empress there. Um, there's someone you see as, um, abundant, as, um, beautiful. And it doesn't matter if this is male or female because, um, the emperor and the empress are kind of interchangeable, like the king and queen, they're androgynous energies, but they're shown to be, if you will, um, they're shown to be male and female. And you see that her belly is pregnant. Um, and it's a waterfall. She's very beautiful. Um, this is the Arcanum, my favorite. And as you, the cards are absolutely totaled. I can barely shuffle them. I'm going to have to order a new deck of these because they're so old. <laughs> um, but it shows here, if you look, she's holding a sacred lotus flower, that ancient energy, that ancient spirituality. And this person is very abundant. And you're viewing this person as, as abundant, as, um, somebody that you want fulfillment with, you want, um, wishes with, uh, you want happiness and that 10 of cups with it's, it's showing that and it's showing you want the love as well. Um, and the ancient wisdom, let's not leave that out. It's the most important part, but you, this is somebody you want family with, but it feels like there's all these obstacles here in the way there's, so many things going on here, guys. Um, you know, past things coming up. Um, you've got the emperor reversed with the hierophant with the six of pentacles. So I'm looking at this. <sighs> what? I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Can you please explain that to me again? You know, I have to say your elementals are amazing. My migraine is almost gone. Thank you guys. Um, so this looks like you're, you're uncomfortable. There's a feeling of reciprocity that you're not able to give at this time. You're having trouble expressing yourself and there's an issue with reciprocity with you know, the back and forth exchange in your relationship. Um, it's like this, you see, how do, I, how do you want me to explain this guys? Come on. So it starts out with your card, of course, in reverse. And it's saying you're kind of um, coming out of this really nasty energy of here is your back and forth, right? So remember your card is here in the reverse and it's, 
this is like your recent past within the past year. I was talking about, I felt you like your throat chakra was closed up. Like you were having communication troubles, like your truth, the way you're trying to say it isn't coming out right. That's what they're saying. It's you're trying to be, um, more forthcoming with your feelings, but it's like, you don't know how to express it. And you're the way you guys feel is beautiful. I love Scorpio energy. I always have, um, you guys have such a beautiful expression of it. And so it's kind of ironic that I would end up with a twin flame Scorpio because I love the way you guys express it's when you love it's in your eyes, it's on your sleeve. You know, you wear it on your shoulder you wear it everywhere. You're so proud and you're so beautiful. It's such a beautiful energy, but trying to express it out loud, trying to express that, um, really passionate, deep love that you have isn't easy. There's not always words to express beautiful emotions and expressions. And so you're struggling. It's like, you're kind of stuck in your mind. You're struggling on, okay, how do I express this the right way? Because the way it's coming across is you're having trouble expressing that emotion. You're having trouble, um, coming in and making that, that offer because you don't know how you don't, you're learning healthy is what it is. Like I'm getting a whole bunch of anxiety from you guys, but I'm going to send you something calm. You're learning healthy guys. You're learning something amazing. That's not a normal trait for you guys to have. Do you know how hard that is and how amazing that truly is? Um, this is a beautiful read for Scorpio. I don't like when I get all these mixed, uh, relationship readings and all that. This is amazing. You guys are really taking on a trait that's an Aries trait and trying to work it out, trying to figure out how to speak it out. And so you're coming across as kind of, um, argumentative though. You come across as kind of, um, fiery, um, you guys have fire energy as well, being ruled by Mars and Pluto. So it doesn't surprise me you come across as fiery, but you all also come across as emotional. It's like a fiery emotional flare that comes out and you're like, okay, I don't know how to word this right, but blah, 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 blah. And you get anxious. And it's like in the middle, you're stuck and you're trying to figure out this balance is what they're showing me is they're showing me scales you're finally figuring out that there's a balance to instead of that revenge. Sometimes that's necessary for you guys, but sometimes it's picking and choosing your battles. That's more necessary. And I feel like right now you're learning that picking and choosing your battles by expressing yourself to people is coming up with different results than you thought it would. Instead of staying angry, you're expressing. And you're getting different results than you thought you would. And that's confusing you more, I feel. Um, and, you know, having a recent non-victory in your life when it comes to um, having an honorable connection with somebody um, really turned out in a tower moment. So you've definitely, you know, had a huge tower moment, whether it be... Um, right at this moment it's coming in or it's literally just passing through like literally just happened um like i said it can be up to a year and it came down to a decision that you had to make it was like a really difficult decision for you guys but it was like something you a decision you had to make it was the choice between oh god that anxiety oh my goodness you guys it's bringing my headache back Ooh, let me get that watery energy back. My head was swaying and feeling better. And yeah, um, it was like an energy you had to choose. You're not winning with this, um, bottling it up and staying angry. It's like you're having a war within yourself and you're losing, you're losing. And you don't quite know how to fight that off. You know, like it's representing both sides of your personality, your water flow and your fire flow. And I feel like you're arguing with yourself. You're fighting with yourself. Like you literally 
had to make this decision. That's it. Either I become healthy and I just got healthy as well for maybe some of you are having addictions. Um, some of you may be having addictions and you're making this decision. Okay. I hit rock bottom. Like I, I need to take this healthy pass, this trail. I'm being offered a divine chance here to get my mind right and get healthy. Not just from toxic relationships, but from anything that binds you to your shadow self like that. Um, any way that causes you to act like a tower, because at times you guys have the energy of the tower. Um, it's very destructive when you want it to be. But instead you're taking this and you're like, hey, I have a this divine opportunity right now to get healthy and to express in a healthy way. I just don't know how. So you're not communicating, but it's like you, in this situation, you bottled that anger and, and you let go. Um, you were tired of the confusion and all this craziness going on around it, if you will. Uh, and you were tired of, I feel like there was um, a lot of secrets and lies and you just never had enough information to make the decision. It was like you had to, you had to just cut it off and see it for what it truly was to make that decision and say, hey, I really need to get on a healthy mindset. This is not good for me. This is not good for me. And it's, it's a feeling of divine intervention because the lovers are a divine card. Um, being that you have the death card right after this in the reverse position, you literally put a stop to whatever this is, this decision, this habit or, um, mindset or drugs or whatever it is. You literally put a stop to it. It literally just died in its tracks. You're tired, Scorps. Whatever this has made you really tired. And now this cycle is tiring you. I feel like this is, you're like, this is the perfect time. I've had this, you know, divine intervention of making a choice between getting, you know, right or staying in this constant tower moment. And you're making the choice to get yourself right. That's amazing. And so you just stopped dead in its tracks. It was like, er, let me just not, let me just not, let me just see it for what it is, express myself, learn to express myself. And like I said, there's somebody here that you, you see as abundant, as beautiful, as almost divine to you. And you want this with them. You want this 10 of cups and it is in the upright. It is a possibility. What you're doing guys is learning how to live your best life. When you're sitting here looking at this reading, I work with ascension stuff. I work with, um, alchemy. I work with all kinds of different stuff. Like I was saying in my new intro video, um, I'm kind of a mix of everything. And so you do have this opportunity. Remember, this is a divine card. It's not just part of the royal family. It is a divine intervention, a divine card. Somebody you see as abundant and fertile and that you want to literally invest your emotions in. You have all 10 of your cups and you're ready. Um, but there's just a lot of difficulty here in between. It's like you are keeping yourself here. When you try to express yourself, it's like you are expressing yourself in a way that boxes you in and boxes this in. It's like a, how do you guys want me to say this? This is just Oh yeah. I like this for you guys. I do. I think this is a fantastic reading. Um, you're keeping yourself here, 
but you're starting to come out of it, guys. Um, you're realizing, this is amazing what I just pulled out. You're realizing that staying in these two elemental ways of, you know, um, not being able to express and then, you know, having those fiery blow ups, um, with your partner or fiery blow ups with yourself, even trying to express to family and friends because you don't quite know how to do it, but you're still coming out of it. And you're getting away from a situation where divine intervention came in and was like, no, like this has got to change. This is not right for you. And you made the choice that you, like I said, we're going to see it for what it is and move past it. It's not as easy as you were thinking it would be, but now it's like you see this person who's abundant and fertile and you want to stop all of that it's like you want to um get right and be in this type of a you know union you want the full union like you want the the marriage the children the love that this person offers you is warm it's home it's beautiful and like I said, just because it's a woman does not mean anything. It's an energy. It's just expressed in a female form, in a very beautiful female form. But I feel like this is what you want. This is home to you. This is like what you've always dreamed of ever having. And it's being offered to you because of this lesson you're trying to learn that you're going through. You're not going through this in vain, guys. You're going through this because there's something special here. And it's saying, you know, you're having trouble with, ow, sorry, my watch just pinched me. <laughs> ow, okay. Um, <laughs> you're having trouble reciprocity here with the equal give and take in some part of the, or aspect of the situation you're having trouble expressing yourself or you're having trouble um usually this is you know of finances and the material and you're worried about how this person perceives that you're all this stuff is getting in between this you have other things past things coming up past relationships coming up and things like that. And you're worried that how this person sees you um, or perceives you is going to take this away. It's like you're terrified of not being able to communicate well enough or give reciprocity enough to keep this. And it's, you guys really have to, have to, have to get out of this. You're in your head you have something amazing. You've had divine intervention. It's right in front of you. Stop grasping at the straws and grasp at what's tangible in front of you. And when I say grasping at straws, I feel like you guys are, um, feeling some sort of worries or worries that this person doesn't, isn't in the same um, virtuous res re reciprocity that you are as in like this person doesn't want this same life with you. And that's not true. This person does want this with you, but it's like, they're trying to figure out now. Oh, if this is for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and anywhere that's in your placement. Usually you will find it within the first three, um, if not, uh, cross watchers, this could be you or your partner's energy. I'm saying this 24 minutes in, sorry. Um, I just started reading like your energy was coming in, so it can come in vice versa. Um, if you don't understand it, just leave a comment below and myself or one of my subscribers will always usually answer you. Um, if you don't understand cross watching and you're watching this because you're with a Scorpio, um, if you don't understand what's happening, um, please be kind and leave positive comments and say, I don't understand. Um, if it does come in in the reverse, it's fine as well. Um, it just means that I'm picking up on a massive energy and, um, it's your message. If it's not your message, take the parts that apply and leave the rest. Don't try to force the puzzle pieces to fit. If it's not your story, 
um, just be kind enough to, you know, give it a watch. If it's not your story, uh, you know, pass it on, give it a thumbs up for other Scorps that may need to see it. Uh, this is a really important lesson. So I'd really appreciate if you guys would pass this video around. Um, this is very important. And those who aren't on board with this yet may want to get on board with it, may want to make this this change in their life and move forward, you know, and have that divine intervention where they get that choice. They can finally, they're getting the help to get healthy with whatever it is that's, that's plaguing you guys. Um, Lord knows Aries is being plagued to death with about a thousand things. So we get it, but it's like, you're running away from this emotionally, even though this is the card of swords, it's like emotionally, you're turning your back on it. Like it's not coming out the way you want it to. So you're kind of turning your back on it. You're, you're not building your, um, I feel like you're getting insecure. You're causing yourself worry. You're because it's not coming out right. And it's not what you're used to. You think you're failing at it. And so you're getting inside your head all over yourself. Like you're just all up in your brain scorps. You're creating insecurities for yourself. You're creating memories and things that aren't even there. What's truly there? What's tangible? What's in front of you? What's in your head? What's real? Come on, guys. You have the most amazing thing sitting in front of you. Get out of this mess. And I love it that you're turning your back on this, on, you know, the coming out of not building and coming out of not wanting to create memories out of fear. And you're coming, you know, you're still here. You're still here because you moved from the eight to the nine. So now you got yourself all worked up because you're blindfolded and you, you put yourself in a mind prison. That's really not there. If you look, you only think you're in a prison. That sword is not actually in the dress. It's an illusion. And so is all of these things that you're working yourself up about. You need to calm down and try to rationalize, talk to your partner about trying to communicate that it's coming out the wrong way. Don't turn your back on it. This person also wants to be with you. They see that you've done so much work and that you're trying. And I'm telling you this because it's like, you're coming in, you're rushing and you're killing it before it even gets started. Because it's like your emotion, there it is. Okay. So they're saying your emotions are exposed and you're feeling very vulnerable. And that's how you're feeling inside your head because you, you feel this with this person and you feel like they're not going to want this back with you. You want a long-term relationship. You want to stand in your power. You want to build, you want reciprocity. These are all the things you want. And you feel like because of whatever's going on right now that you're lacking in this. And so you're coming in and you're coming in with the Knight of Swords energy. You're just kind of killing anything before it can start. You're like pounding on this love before it can start because you're like, I don't know how to communicate. So I, you guys are just kind of, tail lashing there, like not really put, you're not penetrating, but you're waving your tail, you know, um, because your communication is, it's frustrating. You're, you're learning something that you're not by nature used to. And so this energy comes into you, this anxiety, this worry, this balance, this argument that you're constantly having with yourself. Um, but the thing is here is that you're not even listening. If you were listening to the amazing intuition that you were born with, you would know that this is what's ahead of you guys. If you can get past this, if you can beat this without killing your relationship, this is what's in store for you. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new financial start, a brand new abundant start, a beautiful trail, thick with energy, 
beautiful golden trail with flowers and, um, you know, a beautiful sky. And it's actually rain, like almost looks like it's raining flowers because the flowers have grown over the, the golden pentacle. And it's just showing an abundance of growth on the trail. There's just an abundance of growth everywhere. And with that, you've got my twin flame card, but you've also got a card of celebratory um, reasons to celebrate. Um, this is a huge journey for you. If you can get past this and come back into who you are, guys, you have an amazing intuition and get out of this energy. This is what you can look forward to. This is what you can have. It is right in front of you, but you have all of these fears and trouble communicating and um, not knowing how to handle this because it's what you wish. It's what you want. And it's right there. And it's like, well, I don't want to fuck it up, but then maybe I should fuck it up in case it gets fucked up on its own, then it will hurt less. Well, then maybe I shouldn't fuck it up because it's everything I want. Well, then maybe I should, maybe, I, but, but, but you guys are all over the place. If you can literally stop this like you want to get in that healthy mindset, get her back in the upright. You're not even listening to your gut instinct. You're running in there. You're not listening and you're beating the shit. Where'd you go? You're beating the shit out of the future that you want. All that arguing, you're beating the shit out of the future that is right in front of you, that you want, that you materialize. You guys brought this to yourself. You brought in this beautiful thing. That's not just the Ace of Cups. That's the Ten of Cups. That's the Wish card. That's the anything you want with this person. You brought this in, guys. You earned it. You earned it. So I'm going to yell at you. Stop doing this. You guys cause yourself tower moments out of fear. Pull in that Aries energy. Pull it hard, guys. You guys deserve this. You deserve whatever this is. You deserve it. Whatever this kind of relationship is, it's beautiful. It's golden. It's sunny. It's fruitful. It's abundant. It's loving. It's nurturing. It's real. Pull it in. Take in what's tangible. Stop making baggage that's not there and picking it up and holding on to it. And okay, do I hurt it before it hurts me with your tail wagging? It's not going to hurt you. If you do what you've always done and bottle your emotions and sting it, you're giving up what you've asked for, what you've wished for your whole life. And the only thing you will have left is fears. That is what this is saying. This is beautiful for you guys, but you need to stop this and 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 all of these And these two and this guys do you see this this is all of that baggage you have picked up but look, look really look at that this is all of the baggage that you have picked up in fear this is all fears all fears that cause you to react and boom tower moments not listening to yourself. Boom, tower moment. Coming in and killing things before it's even born. Boom, tower moment. Not changing, not doing what you should. Boom, tower moment. Not seeing what's right in front of you. Boom, tower moment. Not saying to your partner, I'm having trouble communicating. Boom, tower moment. Do you want me to keep going? Because I have a tower moment for each and every one of these guys. But you know what's worse? is you don't have a victory over it because you're not grabbing what is real. This is real. This is really in front of you. Take a good fucking look. 
because out of fear and out of learning something new, guys, some of you are running away from what you wanted. So take a good look at this. Don't run. Stop where you are. Turn around and go back. Go back to that loving space in your head where you know this person loves you. It is so obvious and so right in front of your face and so tangible. And you have it. You have it. It's this simple. One, two, three, four. You have it. Divine intervention. See it for what it is. They're telling you, open your eyes, guys. Open your eyes. You've put all of this into your relationship that doesn't need to be there. That's what I want you to do. And just simply pick it up. Leave the rest. So I am at... 36 minutes, guys. I think that's where I'm going to cut off. Uh, your energy is absolutely amazing today. Um, it's wonderful. Like, the shit you have going on is amazing. If you guys can just get out of your head, okay? Get out of your head. Um, if you're having trouble with this, email me. I will send you a list of services. I will gladly work with you. I work with people monthly. If you need help, navigating Aries energy, who better than a fiery Aries to help you learn how to communicate and say exactly what you want to say and become secure with that. Become secure with that love in front of you. You have fucking earned that shit. Take that shit. It is tangible in front of you, right in front of you. You earned it. Take it. Don't question it. This is Kelly from the Queen Tarot Bee, coming straight at you out of Boston. Any information you need is in the box below. My email, donation information, um, Skype ID, and FB Messenger ID. Those are for people who already have appointments. However, if you are having trouble emailing me, please do contact me on uh, Messenger or Skype and let me know and I will send you an email with a list of services. I've been having trouble with my Outlook for... I have to go into my spam folder and clean it out and hope that uh, I catch you guys' emails that are in there. So if it's shooting to spam, um, feel free to message me and let me know. Uh, but other than that, Everything else is in the box below, and I will catch you guys later. Take that shit, grab it, and run, because that is a love you will never get again, and you earned it. See you later, guys.